Pre-research is like playing a game of Clue. You have some information, but you need to ask questions to find out more. In this video, we'll use a crime scenario to demonstrate how pre-research on the internet works. Let's imagine I placed a mobile order for my favorite Starbucks drink. When I go to pick up my order, it's gone. And this isn't the first time it's happened. So I look around and very quickly take note of what I see. Pre-research is a lot like this process. You think of a research topic and immediately jot down quick ideas. So in our crime scenario, my working idea or question is, why would someone take a drink that isn't theirs? So what do I know about my missing Starbucks order? After my initial thoughts and observations, I can begin organizing what I know. I know what happened, or the crime itself. Two of my initial observations, a coffee stain and a coffee lid, are two potential pieces of evidence. There's one person of interest, Gunston, and there were four other people that might be considered witnesses. In pre-research, you'll do the same thing. You'll take your initial ideas about what you know on a topic and begin organizing them into meaningful categories. Asking questions like who, what, when, where, and why can be helpful in this phase of pre-research. In our crime scenario, my initial question asking why someone would take a drink that isn't theirs leads to more people of interest, a hurried professor, and the person on a scooter. As I dig deeper into my investigation, I uncover on the Mason Reddit page that these two people often mistakenly take other people's drinks. I also checked my online bank statements to see when my other orders went missing, so I added that to the crime description. Having this additional information made me think of new questions to ask. Does someone else at Mason have the same name as me? Is my drink order common? Who was working at the time? At this stage in our criminal investigation and pre-research process, we're only looking for the facts and big picture ideas. We aren't worried about the specific details at this point. As I continued my search, I found more witnesses. Witnesses will offer new perspectives that I don't have, helping me get a bigger picture of the crime. Sometimes we call these people with various perspectives stakeholders. Those who are invested in the questions being asked. Who would want to know why someone is stealing Starbucks orders? A barista provides me with the camera footage and a receipt. The pink drink customer mentioned to me that the professor comes in at the same time every day and she had seen my roommate there just before I came in that day. In this way, when you are doing pre-researching, you are using original found sources to point you to new and different sources to help you answer your questions. When you are doing research, one popular way to visualize your research process is to use a concept map. These can look very much like our crime board. You might not have a final answer by the end of this process, but it is the first step to developing a research question. Your searching reveals the nuance happening behind the scenes of your topic.